Before achieving the goal, leaders must first figure out what their goal is. And by listening and observing, leaders can better understand the problems and create goals that are more meaningful, goals that people believe in, care about, and want to work towards. My name is Allison Egan, and I graduated from Purdue in 2015 with degrees in natural resources and environmental science and political science. After pursuing a master's degree and spending several years working as a project manager for a civic innovation focused nonprofit organization, I'm currently working as a sustainability coordinator for a nonprofit healthcare organization. Listening and observing is all about building relationships in the service of getting things done. When team members feel heard and understood, they have more trust and confidence in their leader. They're more willing to offer praise and offer critical feedback and accept feedback. As leaders work toward achieving their goal with their team, they must again listen and observe, paying attention to the strengths of their team and creating action plans that work toward those strengths. I think listening and observing has really helped me to settle into and start leading at my new job. The organization I work for has eight hospitals, nearly 100 clinics, 26,000 employees, and ambitious sustainability goals. But only two people, myself included, work on sustainability full-time. So that I can provide leadership to that many facilities right away, I spent the first couple of weeks visiting all of our hospitals, walking the halls, examining the different sustainability attributes at each site, and then interviewing the green team leaders and members who are getting the, the work done at each hospital. I learned what they have done, what they haven't done, and where they want to go next. With that information, I'm better able to guide our green team leaders um, toward our goals, and the green team leaders know I care about them and that I understand them. I've heard from several colleagues that it feels like I've been working with them for much longer than I have, so I think I'm doing a pretty good job. At Purdue, my undergraduate thesis was a lot of listening and observing. I did site assessments and dozens of interviews to understand why people purchase and maintain rain barrels. I also served as an officer for several sustainability-focused student organizations where I used listening and observing to create an environment where everyone was excited to contribute and felt like they were being heard and valued.